For the first time in the five years that I've been doing this, it sort of feels like the global economy is something close to a synchronous upturn in activity. Accommodative monetary policies with accompanying uh, supportive financial conditions are providing some boost to overall activity. I'm expecting activity to run around three and three quarters percent for global output this year. I think we can sustain that pace of activity next year as well. For the United States, the story is pretty simple. We're experiencing, we have been experiencing a period of above trend growth. I think that is going to continue over the course of the next two years with growth running roughly two and a quarter percent. Uh, and then eventually slowing in the face of more uh, less accommodative monetary policy. What I've incorporated into this forecast is an expectation that we will get a substantial uh, cut in taxes and we'll get some increase in defense and non-defense spending. This is what my forecast would look like uh, eliminating the fiscal stimulus. Obviously, that reduces growth some, raises the, unemployment, the path for the unemployment rate, uh, and has very little effect on, on inflation. Does that mean you support the fiscal stimulus package that's being put forward? I'd say no, I wouldn't support that uh, fiscal stimulus at this point or any significant tax cuts. In fact, because what I showed in that alternative simulation was that without the fiscal stimulus, that's a pretty, to my mind, that is an outcome that looks less risky. 1.2 trillion in tax reductions and another 400 billion in spending increases over 10 years pushes the federal debt to GDP ratio close to 100% by the end of 10 years. And you're going to get, you are going to see some, it, both a higher path of interest rates, some effect eventually, not in the near term again, on terms of capital accumulation. If we are exhausting our fiscal space when we're at full employment, we're leaving very little space to do anything when we really need to.